hello friends welcome to new tutorial of hacker rank in this tutorial we solve sherlock and square problem so the statement is we gave an uh, a and b and we have to find out how many square numbers are there in that so let's delete everything and let me zoom so you can watch code clearly first of all our integer main our main function and first we get integer t that is our test cases so and c in t after that we get two integers a and b so for their input let's use for loop integer i equal to zero i plus plus and i is like less than t i plus plus so for first of all we we get uh, input of a and b so that let's write uh, c in a and uh, b now uh, we have to find out how many square numbers are there between these two numbers so let's say we have an integer z that is like we used to find out numbers of a z equal to we, we use square root function so square root of uh, a and we just keep going on up to b so let's use for loop to do that thing so for int uh, j equals zero say is uh, less than b or say like uh, is uh, less than or equal to b or i think like uh, we have to find out uh, only between uh, a and b so i think our loop should start at a and uh, keep increasing up to and is b right like here uh, 3 uh, equal a equal to 3 and b equal to 9 so we have to find out number between 3 and 9 so uh, do that like we have to start our for loop at uh, a equal to 3 and end at b equal to 9 so let's do same thing here j equal to a and j is less than or equal to b and j plus plus so first of all we find out square root of first number and uh, after that uh, we do z equals z multiply by z so then we find the square of that integer number and then check if z is equal equal to j if uh, that is true means uh, that number is a square number so we simply like uh, in, in, increase our counter by one and like we use int count to uh, declare uh, uh, to print out how many numbers that we have found between this a and b so let's declare int uh, count equal to zero in starting Okay, this is anti okay and uh, for every for loop uh, beginning we initialize counter at zero so if that is true we increment our counter and uh, and uh, we print out our uh, count see out count that is how many numbers we have found so let's run our test case and uh, let's see the sample test case are correct let's submit our code and uh, our five test cases are wrong because uh, your code did not execute within time okay so this is the error like our code is perfect but we exceed our time limit so we have to optimize our code so how can we do that is uh, i guess uh, here like uh, doing this thing like uh, finding a square root and then square and comparing it is is not a most efficient way right here so we can do this uh, using a while loop so let's say when we found our first square number we just break from that for loop and uh, we uh, use a while loop like uh, uh, suppose uh, between 3 and 9 
a equal to 3 b equal to 9 when we found our first square number that is 4 we break our for loop and then we simply do is like uh, square root of 4 is 2 so we increase 2 by 1 that is 3 and square of 3 equal to 9 so let's have an integer sq and uh, before we break we have to store values of z j or say z so let's say z uh, let's say square uh, z equals to like square root of uh, z and uh, once we do that, uh, we need to initialize our while loop uh, after ending of for loop. So let's say uh, while uh, we have to use while loop while uh, condition should be like uh, let's say we use a flag. So while flag, uh, what we do is. Uh, first we have our z so let's say z equal to z plus 1 means once we found our first number we find its square root and increase by 1 and then after that uh, square equals uh, z into z and then check if that square sq integer is uh, less than or equal to b means uh, we have found an, an the next number then we simply increment our counter by one and if that number sq is become greater than b then we exceed our limit so we simply break our while loop and to do that let's say flag equals false and we have to also declare our flag boolean in starting so let's say we declare here a bool flag uh, equals true in starting so let's run our code the first code was absolutely correct but it was not efficient enough so we change a little bit and now next code well, this code is uh, true and efficient both so we get it and congratulations our code is successfully submitted so thank you for watching guys